Hi guys, so it's finally happening. All right, I am officially having a YouTube channel, and this will be the first video. So welcome to my first video, and yes, ah oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. Okay, Whew. okay, so it's time to stay on track. Okay, so basically, I have I have had this idea for uh, quite a while now. Um, it, probably a couple of months. I but when I had the idea I didn't know what to do, I didn't know how to start and I don't know what kind of content I want to create. So I've been watching tons of YouTube videos. I I mean you know listening to YouTubers advice and all of them I would say majority of them say the same thing which is the first step is to just do it. Alright, so yes, I'm finally, I'm finally taking the first step and this is my first ever video. Alright, so if you guys are interested in this video, um, the kind of content I'll be creating would be my training vlogs for sure, my racing vlogs, my, I would say behind the scenes. So definitely be a lot of like fooling around, you know, uh, funny stuff that you will see with like some of my training mates and and whatnot and uh, maybe even some educational stuff as well like um, how I my thought process on certain things how I approach certain things and even maybe uh, I mean anything educational therapy my in my sports or whatever it is that you guys are interested in yeah I will definitely do content on that and of course oh and uh, the most important thing of course I must always support my fans which is giveaways right I will do occasional giveaways if there are things to of course if there are things to give away I'll definitely do giveaways and yeah so hope you guys like like do like my videos and do support me on this support me or not doesn't matter actually just uh, I hope you guys just like it yeah all right guys so for my first video all I'm gonna do is just a quick summary of 2023 oh sorry uh, an introduction of myself of course a uh, short in short summary of 2023 and what's about to come for 2023 Four. Um, so for for those of you guys who don't know me, okay, my name is Bryce, Bryce Chong. I'm a Singapore National Triathlete and I have been doing triathlon for the past, I would say 10, 11 years. I would say, uh, uh, yeah, a lot, or maybe a little, a little bit more than that. I, I kind of lost count of it. Uh, yeah, but it has been slightly more than a decade. And yeah, I've, I've loved triathlon um, ever since I've done it. It has been a huge part of my life. Quite a lot of uh, quite a good amount of achievement that I have achieved through triathlon, and I hope to pursue it until I cannot do it. Uh, I can do, I can no longer do it anymore. So that's the that's my goal. Um, yeah, and for two zero two three, I would say it was a pretty good year uh, for myself. A lot of uh, learning opportunities, a lot of like good experiences, a lot of like achievements that I I I deem satisfied uh, about myself. Um, I think first of all, uh, winning the bronze medal in my Cambodia Sea Games for the Aquathlon event, that was a pretty uh, good moment for me. And yeah, quite a lot of quite a lot of like media was on it uh, as well. So I I didn't I I didn't really uh, know about it. And uh, so apparently, when I won the bronze medal, I was like the first medal to be won in Singapore. So that was a plus point. I uh, that was the another plus point I would say. And when I was there as well, after the triathlon event, so I participated in two events. So one is the individual aquathlon, and what the other one is the individual triathlon. So after the triathlon event, the big thing that happened was I proposed to my uh, seven, six-ish, seven-ish year uh, relationship with my girlfriend. Yeah. So that was a pretty, pretty hu uh, huge thing for me as well. And then. After Sea Games was when we had Asian Games. So this is the first time a uh, uh, Singaporean has ever sent triathletes to Asian Games, and we didn't do the individual event unfortunately, but we we did do the mixed team relay, which was still a pretty big deal because we are, I mean, me and the other three triathletes, which was Luke, Helene, and Louisa, like were the first four triathletes in Singapore that ever participated in Asian Games. So big moment for us, and. Yeah, after that, I think there's nothing much, I would say. Uh, just a couple of like uh, uh, fun races here and there, just the end of the season. And then here we are, last day of the year. All right, so that's all. That's it for 2023. And then for 2024, uh, my focus would probably shift a little bit to the longer distance side. So I'm not going to neglect like sprint distance for sure, but we are just dabbling a little bit or a little bit more for 70.3 races. Not too long, not the Ironman, uh, not the Ironman races, but just 70.3 would do. So 
I have planned a couple of races, so um, the races are here. There are three to four races here, so nothing too fancy, um, nothing too uh, difficult, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary. Just three to four races of 17.3, just to you know test the water a little bit for 70.3 but we are still um, going to do a couple of sprint and standard distance races uh, for the year itself yeah so that's my plan for the 2024 so um, if you guys are def uh, interested in what I am about to put out uh, I mean feel feel free to uh, you know watch it like it subscribe to my youtube channel I think these are the ways that you can help support me and I will do my best to make the video as entertaining as possible and as informative as possible and I hope you guys like it so this is the end of the first vlog so Bryce signing <laughs>